Hello and welcome to Web Learning where knowledge is shared. In today's quick video, I'll show you about the out EP wrapper. At these days, we are in the coronavirus and everybody is stuck in the house. Usually there is one powerful computer and few laptops and other computers that are not that strong and everybody wants to use the powerful computer. So I searched around on the internet and I found this little software. This is the RDP wrapper and what it does, it enables you to share the powerful PC between the other users so few people can log in at the same time to the same powerful computer and use it. You just have to remember that there is always limited resources on the computer so you cannot have too many people logging to the same computer and running really hungry resources and expecting it to work. Also you have to remember your network speed. This is all depends also how you're connected, if you're connected uh, through cables or fast Wi-Fi, like Wi-Fi AC and other issues. As I already have the software already installed on my computer, I'll just show you what I did. So first of all, you have to clone or download. After you download it, you need to go to the bin and click on the install file. After this is installed, you might find the folder structure a bit different than mine. You need to go into the RDP wrapper and first of all you need to right click the RDP conf.exe and run as administrator. It's really really important that in the, the diagnostic section everything will be green. If one of them is not green please go and follow the instruction below. There are many issues that can cause the software to fail and you can also go into the issues and search your issue that you have. The biggest problem that you might have is the licensor state and this is the INI file. The full supported and not supported is controlled by the INI file. The INI file is located in the folder next to the DLL. This is the file and you need to change it or configure it or update it. To do that, you'll have to stop the service. To stop the service, what you need to do, you need to go into your local disk, Windows, System32, Command-Exe, right-click and run as administrator. After you have it running in as administrator, you need to go to the folder where your RDP wrapper is. So, CD. RDP wrapper and then to the next folder and here you need to run the following command you need to stop the service and that's net stop term service click yes after you stop the service only then you can change replace the INI file and after you did that you do RDP install minus R that's it now you can go back and right click on RDP conf, run as administrator, make sure that it's fully supported. Sometimes you'll need also to restart the computer and after that you can go and RDP check, connect and logging as a different user to see that it works. Now the, the password for this is your Windows password the one that you use as a user. This is not the actual password that you use to log into the computer when you have a keypad or a, when you have a pin. This is your Windows password of the username. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make good use out of it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you.